In this video, we'll find the oxidation number for the carbon here in Na2C2O4. The first thing we notice, there's no negative or positive sign. That's because it's neutral. And when we have a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. There's a few ways we could figure this out. Probably the easiest is just to look at each of the elements here. Because sodium, that's in group one on the periodic table. Each of these sodiums will be plus one. We don't know the carbon that can have different oxidation numbers depending on what it's bonded to. We're just going to call that X. And then oxygen, that's always minus two. There are just a few exceptions. So each oxygen is minus two. And we said all of these are going to equal zero since it's neutral. So we could set up an equation. We have one times the two there, plus we have two X. And then we have minus two times the four we said all that equals zero. So 2x minus 6 equals zero. So we could say 2x equals a positive 6. Divide both sides by 3. x equals a positive 3. So the oxidation number on the carbon here, that's going to be a positive 3. And that's the oxidation number on both of the carbons here in Na2C2O4. If you multiplied and then added all of these numbers up, that would equal zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each of the elements here in Na2C2O4. Thanks for watching.